Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 24. Fraction equivalence, ordering, and operations. Topic E, extending fraction equivalence to fractions greater than 1. Okay, so now let's take a look at 7 thirds. We're going to rename 7 thirds as a mixed number using decomposition. We're going to decompose 7 thirds into parts. So I'm going to begin by putting my 7 thirds into my number bond. And I'm going to think about what one whole would be. If I pull out one whole, that would be 3 thirds. And if I pull it out again, we'd have 6 thirds. So I'm going to pull out 6 thirds, and I'm going to pull out 1 third. So this is showing that 7 thirds is equal to 6 thirds plus 1 third. Let's take a look at this on a number line. So here's my number line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about from the 0 to the 1 being separated into three parts. So that would be separated into thirds. So if I went from 0 to 1, that would be 3 thirds. If I went from 1 to 2, that would be 6 thirds. So this jump is showing my 6 thirds. That gets me to 2. So I need to take my space between the 2 and the 3 and separate it into 3 parts. Now I can make a jump showing 1 more third. 6 thirds plus 1 third. 6 thirds is 2 plus 1 third more. So 6 thirds plus 1 third is equal to 2 plus 1 third. 2 holes plus 1 third. And I can tell that that is equal to 2 and 1 third. Let's take a look at the same thing we just did, but think about it with multiplication. So here's that number bond that we were just working on. And something we need to remember about this 6 thirds is that I'm taking that 6 thirds and I'm thinking of it this way, that it's 3 thirds and 3 thirds. So this makes 2. This is 1. This is the other. So with that in mind, let's take a look at how this looks with multiplication. Here we have 7 thirds is equal to 2 times 3 thirds. And here they are, 3 thirds and 3 thirds. I have it 2 times. That equals 6 thirds. 2 times 3 thirds plus 1 third. Here's my 2 and here's my 1 third. So that is equal to 2 plus 1 third which is equal to 2 and 1 third. Let's try with a different fraction this time. We have 10 fourths. So I want to begin by showing that on a number bond. So here's my number bond. I have 10 fourths as my whole, but I'm breaking it up into two parts. This part's going to have 8 fourths. I picked fourths because my denominator is a 4. So now I know it takes 4 fourths to make one whole. I'm going to take 8 fourths out of 10. So really what I'm taking out of 10 is 4 fourths and 4 fourths, making 8 fourths. That leaves me with 2 fourths. So let's take a look at this with multiplication. Same thing we just did in the previous problem. 10 fourths is equal to 2 times 4 fourths, which is what I have here. That's 8 fourths, plus the other 2 fourths. So that's going to be equal to 2 plus 2 fourths, which is equal to 2 and 2 fourths. Now let's extend this just a little further and show that multiplication in a different way. 
2 times 4 fourths, which is what I have here, is the same thing as saying 2 times 4 over fourths. In this case, I multiplied my whole number times just my numerator, 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 times 4 fourths is 8 fourths. Okay, that'll take care of things for lesson 24, where we've been working to decompose and compose fractions greater than 1 to express them in various forms.